Larry King, death likely connected to pro sports. So I think there's some potential sports connections with Larry King's death. So the death of TV show host Larry King adds further fuel to the fire that King James will be going five and six in NBA finals this year, which I called at the beginning. Larry King equals 56. Remember, coronavirus equals 56. Black Lives Matter equals 56. Gavin Newsom equals 56. And he said 56% of Californians will get coronavirus in eight weeks, which is 56 days. The first two celebrities to get coronavirus, Tom Hanks, Rita Wilson, were born in 1956. They've just declared that there have been 56 new billionaires since the pandemic. Um, again, so it's all a joke, rigged by the numbers. So Larry King, he died on the 23rd and LeBron wears the number 23 jersey. King equals 23, which is obviously Larry's last name and LeBron's known as King James. I also think it's a good sign for Brady. It's Larry King equals 115 and the Bucks came into the playoffs with an 11-5 record. There was a TV show host and that equals 43 and 101. And 43-year-old Brady can win his seventh ring in the 101st NFL season if he wins his next two games. Brady and Biden connections. From Tom Brady's most recent birthday, 8-3-2020, to this year's Super Bowl 2-7, is 27 weeks exactly. From Joe Biden's birthday, 11-20-2020, to 2-7-2021, is 11 weeks and three days apart. So from Joe Biden's most recent birthday to the Super Bowl is 11 weeks and three days. And remember that the presidential election took place on 11-3, the 3rd of November. Uh, this year is the 101st NFL season. Biden equals 101. They sync it all up. Politics, sports, deaths, they do it all the time. And from the date of the election, which was 11-3-2020, to the Super Bowl, is three months and five days, like 35. And that's a big number because Tom Brady equals 35. Catholic equals 35. We know Joe Biden's the second Catholic president in office. First one was JFK, who got assassinated at the age of 46. Catholic also equals 46. Joe Biden's son, Bo Biden, died at the age of 46. And now Joe Biden's the 46th US president. Again, it's all rigged by the numbers. I try my best to show you all of this, but people still dismiss it. More scripts in the NBA play now. So last night I watched the Lakers Chicago Bulls game. It finished 101.90 to the Lakers. So 191 points scored in the game. Society of Jesus equals 191. Chicago dropped to 7 and 9, and Society of Jesus equals 79. Tampa Bay equals 79. And remember, their first playoff win this year was against Washington, who came into that game with a 7 and 9 record, which is not by accident. The Lakers got 101 points the day before the 101st NFL Conference Finals that are taking place today. The Bulls scored 33 points in the first half and then 33 points in the third quarter, followed by 24 points in the fourth. So Kobe wore 33 at high school. That jersey's since been retired, and he wore the 24 for the Lakers. And also, Larry King was born in 1933. So that's why you saw so many 33s in that game. Um, Anthony Davis got a season high of 37 points. Los Angeles equals 37, as does Chicago. This uh, was 37 days after Pope Francis's birthday, the first Jesuit Pope Davis is from Chicago, so what a surprise. He gets his highest point scoring game in Chicago. He's currently 27 and he gets his season high points uh, a week before the Super Bowl final that will be played 2 7, the 7th of February. Again, it's, it's all an absolute disgrace. The fact that Kobe Bryant equals 113 and so does Michael Jordan, two of the greatest players of all time. And the Lakers this season started the season with an 11-3 and record. It's not by accident. I actually thought, honestly, that the Lakers were losing last night, dropping to 8-1 and one away. Because Kobe being Bryant equals 81, his highest ever scoring game was 81 points. So it would have made a lot of sense for that to happen. It didn't. But there's always rituals taking place. 191 points scored. Society of Jesus, 191. Come on. UFC 257, I saw that Dustin Glenn Poirier um, was headlining it against Conor McGregor and I saw his full name equals 257. I bet on him to win and upset McGregor, who was going for his 23rd win on the 23rd. So he had a riddle going for him as well, did McGregor, but I like to go on the underdog. So again, that was rigged by the numbers. Uh, UFC here, the women's main event, look at this, both 34. 
If you do three plus four, it equals seven, like how Brady can get his seventh ring. Both five foot six, like 56, both weigh 126 pounds. Remember, Kobe died 126. He died on the 26th of January. Look how Jessica Eyes reach is six foot six, not six foot six, 66. And LeBron James equals 66. LeBron equals 66, and he's going to go six and six in NBA finals. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, again, such a ritual. And look at this, this fight statistics. Jessica I, who lost the fight, uh, 56 distance strikes, 56 clinch strikes. Sure. What are the chances of that? Little Jessica, five foot six Jessica I with a 56 distance strikes and a 56 clinch strikes. It's so rigged. UFC is massively rigged by the numbers, and it usually gives away scripts for bigger sports. Like, for example, you can learn a lot from these fights that might help you with the Super Bowl. And let's end it with this, because this is an absolute joke. So these are the four remaining quarterbacks. So you've got Allen for the Bills, Mahomes for Kansas City, Rodgers for the Packers, and Brady for the Bucks. So these are the superstars. The league's a quarterback league. It's all about the quarterback. And if you add all these numbers together, 17 plus 15 plus 12 plus 12, it gets you 56, guys. Larry King equals 56. LeBron James is going to go five and six in NBA finals. Coronavirus, 56. Black Lives Matter, 56. All the stuff I keep saying about 56 that people dismiss, although there are plenty of people waking up to it now. So for me, I personally believe Mahomes will uh, beat Allen and Brady will beat Rodgers. If the judge you order want to truly mock us, Financially, they want to truly mock us. They're going to have Rodgers play Allen in the Super Bowl. But who's going to want to watch that? Got to remember, it's all scripted entertainment. ESPN, entertainment comes before sport. I will be shocked if it's not Mahomes against Brady. And I'll be shocked if Brady doesn't get his seventh Super Bowl. He has so much going for him. So much going for him. But again, they all have good riddles. All of these have good riddles, to be honest. But none as good as Tom Brady. None as good as him, but we'll see what happens. We'll find out later today who makes it. Again, if it is Rodgers and Allen in the Super Bowl, it doesn't mean that what I'm saying is absolute garbage. These sports are rigged by the numbers. It's all connected. Sports, politics, deaths, all connected. So uh, it's funny, like the official who's going to be in the Super Bowl, first female official, her last name's Thomas. She has a son called Brady. Are you kidding me? What are the chances of that? So if Brady don't get there, then, then we're being mocked, to be honest. So there you have it. I've, I've shown you how it's rigged in NFL and UFC, how they connect sports up with politics, um, and how Larry King and how basically died because of his numbers connecting up so well with these rituals that will likely take place in these major sporting events. So there you have it, Larry King, death lightly connected to pro sports.